What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So I wanna do a quick video today about 4K projectors since there seems to be a lot of confusion about the difference between a native 4K projector and a certified 4K projector, so stay tuned. So we've had a lot of 4K projectors come out this year and there's been a lot of debates about manufacturers calling their projectors 4K. As you probably know already, 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p and 1080p is 1920 by 1080 pixels and 4K UHD is 3840 by 2160 pixels. Now that 4K badge that you see on your monitor, TV or projector is an official logo that shows that the device was able to meet CTA or Consumer Technology Association standards. And these standards state that the device must be capable capable of producing 8.3 million pixels on the screen, but here's where things get complicated. Up until around two or three years ago, 4K projectors were really, really expensive. I mean, we're talking $10,000 and up. Since then, we've had much less expensive 4K projectors from manufacturers like Optima, BenQ, ViewSonic, and others. So what's the difference and why are there people always debating about it? Well, the problem is that there are two different types of 4K projectors. There are projectors that have a native 4K chip and there are projectors that don't have a native 4K chip but use pixel shifting to produce a 4K image. Now, without getting too technical, pixel shifting is a method that's used by projector manufacturers that allows a projector with a lower resolution chip to trick our brains into seeing more pixels on the screen. This means that a projector with a 1080p chip could officially be certified as a 4K projector as long as it can produce 8.3 million pixels on the screen. The problem is that just because a projector is certified as a 4K projector, it doesn't mean that they all look the same. So let me give you an example. In my home theater, I use an Optima UHD 60. The UHD 60 is priced around $1,700 and it's a certified 4K projector. The Sony 285ES is priced around $5,000 and it's also a certified 4K projector. However, the Sony has a chip with a native resolution of 4096 by 2160. The native resolution of the UHD 60 is 2716 by 1528. Now that's a pretty big difference in the numbers. Here's the thing, I've had the opportunity to directly compare the UHD 60 and the Sony 285ES side by side and I wasn't able to tell a difference in sharpness between the two. Now the overall picture quality including black levels, color depth and contrast was much better on the Sony but we're talking about clarity here. Okay, so let's take this same Optima UHD 60 and compare it to its little brother, the UHD 50. So both of these are certified 4K projectors. They both use pixel shifting to produce a 4K image and the UHD 50 is priced around $1,300. Now aside from a few minor differences, the UHD 50 has a 0.47 inch 1080p chip compared to the UHD 60's larger 0.6 inch 2716 by 1528 chip. Now when comparing these two projectors, I can actually see a small difference in detail detail as the UHD 60 is slightly sharper. Now to be fair, if they're not sitting side by side, it's really hard to tell the difference, so it's definitely not drastic. Another good example is the Epson 5040UB, which is another projector with great picture quality. Even though this isn't marketed as a 4K projector, it's marketed as having 4K enhancement. So it's a native 1080p projector that uses pixel shifting to produce an image that's sharper than 1080p, but it's not quite sharp enough to meet the 4K certification. This means that the budget Budget 4K projectors will actually be sharper than the Epson even though the Epson might have better black levels and better color reproduction. So the moral of the story is that not all 4K projectors are created equal and there's really no easy way to tell which one is sharper without seeing it for yourself. That being said, I see different projectors all the time so my eyes are trained to see it, but the average person probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Now I know this video was incredibly complicated and you might even be more confused now than you were before watching this video, but hopefully I cleared this up for at least one person. Anyways, go ahead and give me your thoughts in the comment section and tell me what you think about this topic. If you haven't already, go ahead and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.